Well, hello there, beautiful. Welcome back to the Tea Room. It's time for Tea with Tamara, and I have an empties video for you guys. This is going to be a collective empties video over the last several weeks, months. I don't know. I have stuff in my bag, and I'm just going to start pulling stuff out and showing you. But before we get into that, I know you guys like to know what I'm sipping on. And this is what I am sipping on. This is one of my favorite teas at the moment. This is the Organic Chamomile Lemon Green Tea. I am sipping on that in my favorite mug. This is what the mug looks like. You can get one with your initials on it at Target for $5.99. Let's jump into Okay, so this let's empty. jump into these empties. I'm going to start with the big stuff and then work my way down to the smaller items. So the first thing that I want to talk to you about is this Soft Scrub Luminous Oils Macadamia Oil and Peony Body Wash. You guys. This stuff smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good. Will I repurchase? Mm -mm. Not a bit, not an ounce, not a drop, not a teensy little, no moisturization factor going on here. This is purely for the scent. Sorry, soft soap. You did not rock my world with the luxurious bubbly feeling, but you certainly rocked my senses with this fragrance. Yes, A plus for fragrance. We just gonna leave it there, okay? Not going to repurchase that. This on the other hand, yes. I will repurchase this. This is not my first bottle. This is like my umpteenth bottle. This is the Aveeno Positively Nourishing Calming Body Wash in Lavender Chamomile Ylang 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 <laughs> But anyway, yes, this stuff is amazing. Yes. Sensitive skin doesn't bother mine. Nice and creamy. Yes. Smells good, yes. Relaxing, comforting, all of that, yes, yes, and yes. Go get some, 16 fluid ounces. Everybody in my house loves this. We'll definitely repurchase. This is the Olay Quench in Shimmer Luminous Minerals, and I enjoyed this. It gives you the nice little shimmer, shimmer, glow, glow on your skin. So like, and the shimmers last a very long time. So if you put this on, it'll be there the next day. It stays until you shower it off. I kind of like that. I almost wish that it had a little bit more shimmer for like those days when, you know, I want to just be a little bit extra, but it's a very subtle shimmer you probably won't even notice it unless you're like really looking at your skin but it's great moisturization level eh, i mean it's okay it tells you right here with the little um drops to tell you how moisturizing it is so it's kind of like midway moisturizing still a good product i would repurchase um i have some other stuff that i'm going through but um yeah i would repurchase it again I have been using, I went back to my tried and true. So like back in the day, day before, you know, I was a natural. I'm, as you can see, we're no longer natural. I'm back to relax. This is what I used on my relaxed hair. This is the only thing that I used on my relaxed hair as in terms of a leave-in conditioner. And this is the Infusium Original Leave-In Treatment. It moisturizes and replenishes with avocado oil. Um, and olive oil and I love this stuff I'm out of it at the moment and boy do I know it so I need to re-up on this I love that they changed the packaging it used to be in a green and white bottle um, with the lady with the hair I don't know if y'all remember that but <laughs> I remember that but um yes definitely repurchase that okay um, finished a body butter I got a bunch of body butters at Christmas and I threw out the rest of them I don't have the other containers but I got through all of my body butter and this was one of the last ones this one is in the shea butter and you guys it smelled so good look at that I cleaned that joint out 
done -zo. Um, I caught them on a sale on Ebates. If you don't know about Ebates, then you're living under a rock. Um, I only use Ebates at Christmas time for some reason. I don't know why, because I don't really order a ton of things throughout the year. Um, most of the time I just get my stuff at Walmart, honestly. But at Christmas time, you know, I look for the deals and I use my Ebates and that's when I got this. So that is done. Um, finishing up with the body care items, I will pick up these last three things. What is that? Oh, that must have fallen out of my cabinet. All right, so this is done. This is the Delectable Soft Soft um, Hand Lotion. I got this. I either got this in an Ipsy bag or I got this in a FabFitFun box, which I have been getting FabFitFun boxes and I haven't made a video on any of those. If you really want to see it, um, thumbs up this video. How about that? Um, but yeah, so either I feel like I got this in an Ipsy though, and this was in the scent Coconut Cream and it was a decent hand cream. I'm not going to repurchase it. Um, hand creams come a dime a dozen. It's, it's lotion. It wasn't anything to write home about. I got a sample of the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish with crushed macadamia and rice milk. And this definitely came in a FabFitFun box. And I cleaned this little sample thing all the way out. It was so delightful. And I have been meaning to pick up the full size, but yes, I would definitely repurchase this. I'm working on a sugar scrub at the moment, but once that is done, I will go and get the full size of this. I quite enjoyed it. Um, lastly, this is my secret deodorant in the scent Spring Breeze. I used to rock this in high school. Every now and then I get a little nostalgic and I go back to it because it smelled so good. Love this stuff. It's the Invisible Solid and yeah, already repurchased one in a different scent. All right, let's talk beauty products and I have a few to show you guys. So you might have seen this in my Trader Joe's haul, the skincare haul that I did a while back. And these were the Trader Joe cleanser makeup remover wipes. So they weren't that bad. They did sting a little bit, but it didn't give me the irritation that every other makeup wipe gives me, but it wasn't so life-changing that I feel that I can't be without them. As you can see, I've run out and I haven't repurchased it. So the next time I'm in Trader Joe's, yes, I would pick another pack up, but it's not like I would make a special trip to go get them. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, you get 20 towelettes. It is quite costly. I feel like I paid $5.99 for 20 towelettes. Again, it's not like it was that life-changing that it would be worth my coinage. Um, but if I were there and I needed wipes, then yes, I would pick these up again. So, you know, for me, it it was just okay. They weren't, they weren't bad. They did the trick. Um, and it didn't irritate my skin. So... I'll stay with the cleansing stuff and then we'll move into our makeup. I finally finished my second bottle of Lebray Deep Pore Cleanser. Um, this was my second uh, bottle, as I just said, like duh. Um, anyway, this stuff is really good. It smells really good. Um, if you already know, if you already watched my Trader Joe's, I went with something else. Um, I will probably repurchase Lebray again in the future, but not right now as I am found something that's working. And with my skin, I tend to not want to try a lot of different things. Um, if I find something that's working, then I'm not rocking the boat because... I cannot afford to spawn on a flare up with my sensitive skin just wouldn't be good so maybe in the future I'll go back to this but I liked it it was really good I enjoyed using it and, but it's done now so and I found something else this is also the Lebray moisturizer now this one I'm on the fence about and I'll tell you why I love it okay and the only, honestly, the only reason why I would repurchase this lotion again 
and again and again is yeah it does work it's great on my skin but that's not why I would repurchase it okay so this is how sentimental your girl can be sometimes this lotion smells like the hand soap that they used in the hospital when I had my babies so I smelled this lotion and I remember my kids as newborns oh and it melts my heart and that is the only reason why I would spend my money to buy this lotion is because it reminds me of when my girls were newborns that's so weird and amazing all at the same time how your senses and your sense of smell can evoke such an emotion they captured newborn baby smell in a bottle. I, I'm telling you, this stuff smells amazing. And it really is a great moisturizer. It's very lightweight. Um, you put it on your skin, you only need a little bit, and then you wet your fingers and it makes the lotion even more lotion-y. It's really good stuff, but it's not cheap. Um, it's not that cheap, okay? I think it's like 16 bucks, maybe even more for four fluid ounces. Um, and I've got stuff at Trader Joe's that I spend less money and get more products. So for that reason, I'm sticking with the Trader Joe's stuff like we already went through it. But I would repurchase this, yes, again in the future, just not right now. All right, it's time for some beauty products. I got through some stuff. I'm so proud of myself because I've been decluttering my makeup and I'm trying to get my stash dwindled down to where I can fit everything in a train case. So I moved through some products, which makes me happy. Um, I finished this MAC Fix Plus. There's a little bit in there, but you know, these bottles, the more you spray, it doesn't spray it out. It kind of spits it out. And so you end up with like dots of fix plus randomly placed on your face. I don't like that. So therefore it's done and we're letting it go. And this is just the regular original fix plus. Um, I use this, you're supposed to use it um, to prime, but I use it to set my makeup because that's just how I use it but yeah I will repurchase and I would repurchase the full-size bottle I used to use this back in the day too I would repurchase that you guys I finished my Rihanna Fenty Beauty primer um, I know it looks like it's not done but I assure you this thing is done so I tried to bust off the top cap so I could scoop out whatever is left in there this thing was not coming off if you guys have figured a way to open this bottle to get the rest of the product I would really love to know um, but then again I don't know if by the time y'all watch this video I might have already gotten rid of this but will I repurchase mm. that is the question of the century okay so I liked the primer I do not feel like it mattified my skin. No, I don't. My oils still came through. So what I will say to you is, if you are like serious oily skin, you probably could pass on this, okay? Before this, I was using my Becca um, Ever Matte Primer, um, and I felt like that had stopped working. So this came out right around the time that I was having those issues with it and I decided to try this. It took me that long to finish it because I don't wear my makeup every day. It's a nice primer. Does it extend the length of your makeup? Um, kind of, but I kind of feel like if you put your makeup on properly and if you blend for the gods and do your powder or whatever, your makeup is pretty much gonna stay in place. And let's just face it, we're not wearing makeup for 18 and 24 hours unless you are uh, at a photo shoot and that's taking you all literally all day. You're not wearing your makeup that long. So I don't know that I would need my makeup to last more than eight hours. Like honestly, by hour four, I'm ready to take it off, okay? so you know, you kind of have to decide depending on your lifestyle or how you do with your makeup if this is something worth investing in. The smell was quite pleasant. It did um, 
kind of melt into your skin after a while so it didn't leave any cast it's kind of like it was more like a moisturizer so it's like a moisturizing primer that does primary things but still gives you that moisture effect of a lotion I hope this makes sense to you but the jury is really out on whether or not I would actually repurchase this again. I tell you what I will try. I'll tell you this much. I will purchase the foundation before I purchase the primer again. I really want to try their foundation, but I'm working through something else, so I'm going to wait. But the next time I need foundation, I think I'm going to give this a try, only because they have a wide color range. But you could probably skip the primer. Sorry, Rihanna. Sorry, gotta keep it 100 with y'all. You could probably skip the primer because I'm using, right now, I'm trying to get through a hard candy primer that I don't necessarily care for, but I'm trying to get through it. Um, and that's working. I don't see any difference between the hard candy and the Rihanna, honestly. I gotta keep it real with you. You know that, right? So yeah, you decide. Get a sample from Sephora and see how you like it. It might just boil down to an individual preference, okay? Done with that. All right, I finished a unique foundation. This is the Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation in Cypress. You guys, this, I like the foundation. I love the coverage, but you guys, I feel like this took an eternity to wash off my face. Like, my skin was holding on for dear life. I would wash my face with one of those rotating Clarisonic type brushes. I do have a Clarisonic and I have another type of Clarisonic uh, dupe brush. I would wash my face with tons of soap and I'd still have foundation on. So for that reason, I'm gonna have to say unique. I love you, but uh, no thank you. Um, when I have to come back in with a makeup removing wipe or several rounds of cleansing my face, we can't be friends no more. So while I love the coverage and I love the color and I love what, you know, the finish that it gave me, too much work. So I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this. I still love Unique, but not this, okay? Not my favorite. So no, I won't repurchase. I finished my Tarte Shape Tape. Um, can we take a moment of silence? If you guys hear the phone ringing in the background, I do apologize. Um, but yeah, this is done and I tried really hard to pull the stopper out, but I couldn't get it out because I wanted to get what was down at the bottom. But you guys, this is all the way done. I was in the color deep and I was going to repurchase this. However, I found a drugstore dupe that I feel is equally as good as the Tarte Shape. And it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. You guys, let me tell y'all something. It's great to have high-end products if you like high-end products, but let's just face it. Sometimes you don't want to let go of the points. So or this the color, I'm talking about the consistency. And this is the Age Rewind, okay? I feel like these two are very, very close relatives, okay? So upon my swatching, you can see that this is the tart shape on top and this is the Age Rewind. So yeah, you can still see a little bit of my skin showing through with the Age Rewind, but that this swatch is whatever was left from the last time I used it. It wasn't a fresh swatch, so do not be deceived, okay? If this is what was just left on the applicator without me rolling it up, that tells you that it's gonna cover, it covers well. And this is what was left on 
the applicator from the last time I used the Tarte Tape Shape and I scraped the bottle with this one just a little bit because it was empty. So I feel like these two products are very, very closely related in terms of consistency, the way they perform throughout the day and how they dry down. Both of these products, you have to move quickly with them. You cannot mess around with these. Wherever you put it, that's where it's staying. So you wanna apply it and you know, you don't, you know how sometimes you put your concealer on and then you go and dot on whatever other products on your face and then you come back to it? You can't do that with these. By the time you put it on and then mess around with the other areas of your face, it'll already be dry. So you do have to move quickly with it, but I'm gonna tell you, they don't budge. These two products perform, in my opinion, exactly the same way. They cover the areas that you don't want to be seen. They brighten, they do all the wonderful things that this does, this also does. And so, if I'm balling, I will definitely repurchase that. But if you wanted a drugstore, not necessarily dupe, but counterpart, or however you wanna term it, you know, sister, cousin, auntie, uncle, whatever. Right here, this, this right here. Trust me, same thing, in my opinion, same exact thing, okay? So this is bye bye and this is brand new, so I'm gonna put that back in my drawer. But yeah, that's that. You guys, I have to let a paint pot go and I'm not sorry, I've had this thing for a very long time. This is my painterly paint pot. It is cracked up, dried up, and I don't reach for this at all. So this is a declutter item that I'm just gonna let go and let God, okay? <laughs> it needs to go, it's done, it's dead, and yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. And no, I probably won't repurchase because I just use um, concealer, um, not the age rewind, no, I could do that with the Tarte. That's probably about the only difference. With the Tarte concealer, I could use it as an eyeshadow base, not with the Age Rewind. It doesn't do well up here, so don't do that, okay? Um, but yeah, I just use concealer, a different concealer to um, on my lids, okay? Because that's pretty much what it is. It's just to cancel out color, or I'll use whatever's left over on my beauty sponge to kind of put down a base for my eyeshadow. I also finished this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer and I was in the color Nutmeg. And I had a love-hate relationship with this concealer. I loved it initially and then the more I used it, I was like, I don't like this very much. And then I put it down and I went back to it and I don't know if it was because of desperation because my Tarte had finished and I thought I had more in here than there was and I realized this was almost gone too and so I found that I liked it again. So it's like, mm, I don't know if it's the color or the formula that I was having an issue with, but it's done, it's finished. Um, can we talk about this? I don't know, Nyx, what's wrong with your products, why they're coming apart like that, but um, y'all might wanna fix that. This is the applicator. I'll tell you what, I feel like the amount of product in here is 0.11 ounces, okay? And I feel on one hand that it kind of finished quickly, but then on the other hand, I don't know. I don't know if my daughter got into this and was using it too, but I really thought there were was more product in here than, you know, what there was. Um, I could have sworn this was a full tube, but it could just be my bad. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I think it's a little bit too watery I don't know what it is about this I just don't know if you guys use this in the comments and you kind of know what I'm talking about then hit me up in the comments maybe I'm missing something but I just feel like it looked like it would be promising and pigmented but then when you blend it out it doesn't really cover as well as I thought it was going to and maybe that's what I'm getting at I'm sorry for rambling but yeah I just didn't like the coverage that it gave me so I don't think I'm going to repurchase that that's gone bye-bye this um 
yeah I'm not repurchasing this it was okay um, this is a volumizing the big colossal volumizing and this was my second tube of this I believe this is what the brush looks like and I just kind of fell out of love with it it wasn't it was all right I'm not nothing to write home about okay not married to it so I probably won't repurchase this again and then lastly I finished a brow pencil this is the benefit precisely my brow pencil I thoroughly enjoyed using this it lasted a long time you get the little spoolie on one end and then you get the brow product which is all the way done cannot wind it up anymore um this worked great it stayed in place it did what it's supposed to do and i thoroughly enjoyed it and then i would kind of come in with my benefit gimme brow brow um gel the tinted brow gel and i would use this alone or on top of the pencil this is done i probably am not going to repurchase this again um it was it was fun to use um but I don't think it's worth $20-something when I can use clear brow, brow gel to do the same thing. So that is it, you guys. That's all of my empties for, you know, a little bit of February, a little bit of January, and a little bit of March and April, too, okay? <laughs> what do you want from me okay um yeah that's it that's all i have to share for you guys go ahead and hit a thumbs up like i said before if you want to see a fab fit fun unboxing thumbs up this video because that's what i talked about at the beginning of the video um don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that little notification bell so that you can be notified on my next upload you know what i'm gonna tell you stay sweet stay beautiful and remember there's always time for tea I love you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.